Um, it's the old fella back, or if you're new here, old Mr. B, whatever you want to call me. Right, I had a chat with uh, Shred Dog, uh, Pete Indy, and Axe Japan. And it was just a chat about this, that, and the other, but uh, I got them together. I knew, I, knew, I knew certain people wanted to meet certain people, so I sort of sneakily arranged it, if you like. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just a chat about this, that, and the other. A bit about me because people have been asking to want to know a bit about me and all the rest of it and but uh, but yeah but anyway anyway you'll see how it goes anyway enough for me um, over to the chat we go well it's the old fella back and on my whatever side it is we've got deputy dog or shred dog or whatever you want to pronounce dog. it below them you've got axe japan and then you got the one and only man that put P in D. <laughs> Just that can it sound in. really dodgy. Put <laughs> 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 well, P in D. Cut right? it. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that technical difficulty screen? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, it's good to be here with everybody. I, I don't think I've ever chatted with uh, with Axe one on one. I've chatted with this. No. Movie, chatted with Dog. I know so, it's so nice to see you guys in person for the oh, first I'm, time. I'm fan. I'm fangirling so hard. Just <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> but you guys comment so much on the videos, so it's like it's you know I feel like I know you, you know, because uh, I you know the people that comment the most like you always recognize them, you know, when they pop up. So true. Yeah, oh, so anyway, I talk like I write. I have to own up here. I have to own up here, Axe. I sort of set it up purposely. <laughs> so because I know, I know old, uh, old Shredder there wanted to meet you. So I sort of, I dropped the hint though in, in the chat when I said about meet the fans. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you said that. Like I didn't even click that at all. No, that's funny. I'm not gonna lie. He was mentioning it, and I was like, "Oh, I, I mean, of course, I'll hop on a call. No big deal." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I it's cool to, it's just cool to chat to like like-minded people about so. Japanese music and stuff. So. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I mean, right? I mean, somebody asked me on my on my channel to tell me a bit more about myself, about you know the band I was in, and stuff like that. So. The band that I was in, we were called Foreplay. Well, there was there nice. was four of us. <laughs> um, on after you. Oh, never mind. And they asked me <laughs> if I got some of our old our old stuff. Unfortunately, the the bass player of the band who had it, he, he passed away three years ago, so we don't know what happened to it. Oh, it was on tape anyway, so I got nothing to play it on. And um, one of the other guitarists, he got. He thought I'd left the band because of him. And then, you know, he'd had a few to drink one night. And he, you know, he comes up, did you leave the band because of me? Yeah. And I went, no. Bloody Beatles, mate, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> you want to do that? So, so you know, and, and that's, that's what happened after that. Um, but uh, an old friend of mine who's still in, the drum I was still in contact with, he thought it was because of a young lady, but it wasn't. Um, but then I stopped. Uh, I stopped playing because that was me Indian girlfriend I had at the time. My parents and her parents weren't happy, and she got shipped off to India and never saw her again. You know, long. You know, that's long story short. And uh, then somebody asked me. You know, they also asked me about that. But I've got pictures somewhere of the band, and I will use them as backdrops. And I've got hair. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see them. Where? But, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, you know, so, but of course, then I stopped playing for 20, 30 years. I forget how long it was. I stopped, I know I stopped for ages. And the worst thing was, of course, I sold me, um, me 1970, what it was, uh, Telecaster I had, which is silly, really. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> sells the amplifier and all that. But um, as you do, and, I, and then I just started messing about with doing a lot of MIDI, MIDI stuff. Um, okay. Note for note. I haven't got a clue what I was doing. 
And um, there was a guy where I, where I used to work. Work. It was like um, at college. It was uh, totally um, music. It, it was at such a high level of music. Yeah. So he said to me, do something on MIDI. So I did because I could print it off. I haven't got a clue what it said, but you know, it comes off. Right. And I gave him this and he really liked it. He says, You've got a bit deep with the uh, with the left hand. I said, Well, you've got to, you've got to have a bit of bass in there. Well, this is not a piano, you know, this is a piano. And he says, uh, and he says to me, one note's wrong. So my answer to him was, Does it sound wrong? He went, Well, no. So I says, Well, how come it's wrong? Music <laughs> theory, you see, da da da, it's the wrong note. But he said, It sounds wrong. But anyway, I don't read it, put it right for him anyway. Because I told him at what speed it was running at, of course, you know, I'll say 120, whatever, and he's going, no, what, what is it? You know, because he's, he's taught English. It's like, you know, semitones and tone here where it's different to America. So anyway, so so I, I gave him a, like a tape at the time, tape, uh, with it on, with a drum beat and everything, so he knew what speed it was at. And then I said to him, well, don't you do any, create any of your own music? He says, no, just go and buy the sheet music and play it. So, and he's obviously that's your creativity's gone, and isn't it? If, if you've learned that much about music, yeah, you know, you know, you know what you're doing, which he does, he knew all about it. And then it's no experimentation, is there, or anything? It's it's, it's gone, got to be written for you, yeah, yeah, it's gone. But uh, so, anyway, so anyway, I, I sort of picked the guitar up, started messing about again after that, doing the MIDI. Uh, and stuff like that because the stuff we used to in the band was like uh, smoke on the water, jailbreak, you know, thin as your status quo, that sort of thing. Nice, nice, you know, going down the dust pipe. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know if you know that song, but you know, that's the sort of thing. And then when the Beatles bit came into it, <clears throat> I'm off. And I said to him, Can't we play something faster? That's where they call me a punk rocker. Uh, before, <laughs> punk, before punk rock, and I, I just, I just, I don't know. I, I was just too slow for me. I'm, it's, I've got nothing against the Beatles, but it wasn't heavy enough. The music, great songwriters, don't get me wrong, but just wasn't there for me. Yeah, I'm, I feel the same about the Beatles. Yeah, you really. Know, I, I, I always I liked the Beatles them. at a young age. Of course, I, I was born in '66, so I was born in that era, I guess, if you will, where the Beatles were popular and and the girls were screaming and everything else was going on but uh, i was born yeah. and raised in detroit so my first exposure was motown and jazz mm, nice. so a lot oh. of that music crept into my youth as a child um i got to travel around my my mom and my my real dad got divorced when i was one <laughs> so my mom ended up dating a uh, a musician a saxophone player he was quite good um, saxophone player good with motown um he played with uh duke ellington and a lot of those folks stevie wonder oh. so yeah i mean he he was he was well, quite good but uh he was never he was never famous himself he was either in the, the the backing band or he was in the in the studio band that sort of thing but that's where my exposure to music came from so when i was in school i started picked up the saxophone music is written in the same key so i was in high school i picked up a guitar i was never really good at either one so i put them both down <laughs> thank <laughs> me later <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that was it. I mean, well, I, mean, I was born in 53, but I didn't really get into music until T-Rex came along. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that, and, because uh, I was surprised about Gashan. Gashan knowing about that. But again, he was big in Japan, mm. you know. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've got to go because they all want to meet me over there. <laughs> I've interviewed them and they're all going, because I've, I've been chatting with them on Twitter. I wish I hadn't gone on Twitter. I'm getting so flipping up. Um, I've had people following me now, right? So my as this 14 that I've done reactions, several are new people that have like decided to follow me on Twitter. And I thought, oh look, they're a musician. There's a bass yeah. player, a guitarist. Oh, of course, I've cocked that up as usual. Now oh, she plays the guitar. No, she doesn't. She sings as well, you idiot. Um, no. <laughs> No editing, I ain't got time to do that. So just I, I did say it at the end though, but um and, and that sort of thing. So but I'm always looking for new, 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 new. Yeah. You yeah. know, me too. um somebody sent me one 
2015, but they are still current, so I don't mind that. That gives me a chance to start at the early days and see how the change going going through them. So, and of course, basically, I'm going back to the the music when I was, I stopped playing. There, I was doing all this MIDI stuff. I might have some of that knocking around still. Um, and then um, I picked the guitar up again. I started messing about, and I started recording myself and throwing up. Um, but then what happened was uh, I sat there one day and my hard drive's on fire. What? Yes, the voltage regulator decided to give up. Right. Two years worth of music. Bye bye. Oh my God. That's soul destroying. All gone. So I thought, oh, well, I'll never give up now. So I've got it all over the place. But I've I've probably got, a, I don't know, I don't know, I've got I mean, hundreds of bits and bobs all over the place that I've done, but I don't like it. It's never fit. See, I've gone back to this current thing and I've had to change it. I'm never happy. The more I listen to it, the more I'm going, oh, I don't like, I'll change that, I'll change that, I'll do this. You know, it's just me. Never, mm. never bloody happy. I, I've done the, I've done this, I did a, a tune. It is on me all the channel, it is up on YouTube, but and my mate says to me, he says, he, he sort of says to me, so he goes, give me a belt around it. It's finished. It's done. Stop messing with it. Leave it. So I, I left it. You're like an engineer. The, the, the engineers, unless you take their project away from them, they just keep working on it, right? Oh, yeah, let's fix this. Well, yeah, you, 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 we see it's like when, you, when, when people dismantle music saying it's done like this, it's done like that. Well, I always thought like if you're a mechanic, you got a car engine, if it's broken, you fix it. So I dismantle the music when there's nothing wrong with it. But from if it's, it's a bit going... different because like when you like a car engine has to go together a certain way, but like music can go any way. Like there's like math. Yeah, the, the, it's like infinite, really. Um so yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's hard. You know, I used to be like that as well. I used to like spend so long on like mixing and like you know it took me like an, a, a year to record like one album that i did like in a project i was part of like years ago and after that i was just like i'm not doing this again i'm gonna be more strict in in terms of like how long i spend because the, i think the more time you spend on it your, your ears start playing tricks on you and stuff yep yeah Absolutely. so then it just ends up sounding worse ah uh, yes that's so, when i that's when i walk away and then go back to it the next day <laughs> mm -hmm. But you see, my problem is because I've, I've said this to everybody because I'm because I was dyslexic, and I always felt useless. That's why I'm never happy because I, 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 that's the way you feel. You know, you're not going to change that in me because that's you know. And um, but because that was it. As I grew up, no one knew what it was, so I was always classed as thick. You know, brain. does that affect you reading music at all? Pardon? Like if you were to read sheet music, does that does <laughs> I'm just asking. Oh, the job with normal, hey, normal writing, they're no music. They're all the dots <laughs> and squiggles. <laughs> and the amount, the amount of, for the old live chat, the amount of spelling mistakes I make. Guys, this is ridiculous. I, I blame the keyboard, by the way. I go, God, I need a new keyboard. This one can't spell. Um, but, you know, there's so many the, the different ways. I mean, like the, you know, H-T-E. <laughs> e E T H, you know, I, I've still, I can just spell it. Sometimes I think my head gets in gets in front of my fingers or whatever, and I, it comes out wrong. Mm -hmm. But but yeah. So anyway, but that's me. That's basically it. So then I carried on, and now I'm at where I'm at now, and uh, with me with me life. Um, and uh, but but um, but it's fun. Doing YouTube is fun, and to me, and meeting people. This is another part. This is why I started doing this. I, I want to meet, you know, people. I've got, um, I'm waiting for the, um, oh, it's, hang on, I have a problem with names. Um, <laughs> on Dead Corporation. Mm. They got back to me and says, I've sent them the list and they're going to try and get all, I don't know how many, I think they've got quite a few band members. Um, because they did they're a, a cool band they're real cool yeah well they did they did uh, Benji didn't they from Skindred on right, the yeah, yeah yeah well I've seen Skindred me too 
yeah, few times. Yeah, and so uh, I'll, you know, I'm just waiting for them to get back to me when they're all together. I don't care who is. This is more the merrier, you know. I mean, um, and there's a few more chased up. Then there's the ones that don't get back to you. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if they just got back. Get lost, you silly old sod. I don't care. As long as it's, it's a reply, isn't it? It'll do. Yeah, exactly. So uh, so anyway, right, Mr. P in D. Yes, sir. What are you, what have you got up and coming or anything? Or well, Gary's helping me put a bit of a project together for um bandmate. I think they're coming up on what is it? 500,000 subscribers or something like that. So we're yeah, going to put together something. I've got a, a special video. I think I'm going to, I'm going to nice. end up doing for that. You know, the project that I just worked on because you, uh, you reviewed it with, uh, with all the artists that was pretty special for me. So I've been trying to keep as busy as I can. Plus I started a new job last week. So I'm like, I feel like I'm, I'm dog paddling. <laughs> what's the job? It's just, it's a new job for me. I'm working for a new company. So uh, I went the, working from the, the Chinese. Job? I, don't, I don't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> sure you do. You probably work harder than I do. Actually. <laughs> the day that, the day. The day. Longer hours, probably. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's not work, is it, when you're having fun? True. true. Yeah, so, okay. Moving on to Mr. Japan. Oh. <laughs> well, well, have you well, got... Have you got oh anything? Well, the... I've, I've, I haven't been doing too much YouTube stuff just now because for some reason, like, I've had like loads of projects come in at once. So I'm on, I'm, I'm on Fiverr, uh, like as a sort of guitarist for hire. And someone hired me to like, not like record any guitar, which is like what I was up for. But basically he wanted me to like film myself performing like one of his songs. Um, it was kind of weird, but like, I was like, well, if you're paying me, I'll take it. Uh, so, um, so yeah, I've been I've been sort of doing that. And another friend of mine asked me to play guitar on his. Like he's make he's basically making a. He writes music for like TV and stuff, mm -hmm. um, and he he's just constantly making music. But he he uh, he's making like a Top Gun inspired like eighties retro like album, and he asked me to play guitar on it and stuff. So I've been kind of practicing that um and but yeah youtube wise uh i'm gonna i'm gonna start making a, a part two to the konami licks video i want to do like another like top 10 kind of konami licks video uh because like i, I sometimes i get a bit burned out doing the covers um mm. you know because it's like you know it's such a process of like learning and stuff and i have done a lot of band made ones like you know sort of lately back to back and uh so yeah i think doing like just a, something a bit different i haven't done like one of those like videos in a while and uh, also, like like, there's a good variety of stuff on your channel all the time it's not just reactions or yeah playing or walk i mean it's a whole bunch of different stuff that's what i was going that's at. what i mean because like I, I i get bored of <laughs> i get really <laughs> bored very fast of doing the same things um, that's why like that's kind of why like i i purposely made like the last like uh you know the skit video um yeah I made that like the the last one, you know. I, I called it like the season finale because like I need to leave that alone for a while uh, because I I feel like I can't make it any better than what it is right now. Like unless I get start to get stuff like unless I learn how to use like green screens and stuff. Like I don't think I can make the heads do much else. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no matter as far it as has, I can take it. It has the fun to it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Got so like your kids yeah. involved as well, and the fact they loved it. Yeah, yeah, basically like sellotape the masks to their faces and like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like get them to run around. That's like how animated I can get. No, but it's, it's but it's, it's, it's fun. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's you fun. know, to, to get your children involved, that's great. That's mm. absolutely great. You know, it's that's nice. It's a shame though, because my, my, uh, my, the, the little one, my son, like he, uh, when he had the mask on, like he walked like straight into the door <laughs> and like really hard and stuff. <laughs> it was such a shame, but, um, that's why my older daughter, she pretty much did covered the rest of them. Uh, he got, he kind of gave up after that. Uh, but um, yeah, no, it's all, it's all. They had a blast doing it and stuff. So mm, that's yeah. good. That's the um, thing. But I'll 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 uh, I'll will bring the 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 skit back. But I'm gonna have a wee break and uh, from that for a while. 
um but I'm, I'm just working on, i'm working on I'm, I'm always working on like original music as well uh so i've had this like riff that like i've i've literally had this riff for like seven years or so um, and i've just never it's such it's like a really cool riff and like i've never done anything with it because like i've just never sort of like sat down and tried to create a song from it so i've actually done that now so like i've pretty much got like the, the bare bones of it together yeah so I'm, I'm trying to work out like if i'm gonna get someone to sing on it i might maybe get um the the, the girl that sang on smoking bones to sing on it if uh you know if i can uh so yeah so that's and also yeah. i'm gonna I, I still have all this footage from when i did I, I basically recorded the sort of process of doing smoking bones and the storm like i sort of uh you know sort of behind the scenes stuff so i need to put that video together as well that yeah. Be cool. so. yeah well it's like the bass line in that that song of mine it wasn't a bass line originally it was a guitar and i've had it for ages mm. and uh and I make new riffs up frequently, but I forget them. I I, I have that problem as well because I was gonna. Uh, I'm thinking about doing like a live stream where I just play like all original, all the original stuff, like yeah. basically do like a yeah, gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna have to like go and relearn like all this all the stuff because like, you know, like all the lead stuff. Like I I pretty much do it. I do it so quickly now because like I was saying before, I don't like to spend a lot of time on it because like it just you know it. I feel like it needs to be quick otherwise it starts getting worse so but the the downside with that is that like as soon as you record it you forget it yeah um, so i need to go back and like practice and relearn everything and then yeah. we'll that, do that bnd that lead bit in my song that you heard right that's it's only ever been played once mm -hmm. i just gonna fill the space up and i just did it it just seemed to work do you mean so, the solo or like the solo solo yeah, yeah 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 so i've got to relearn it yeah. And it's a bit there, a bit fast for me. I don't know how many is that. But, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but squealing's easy. Um, <laughs> that's yeah. the easy part. But, but, but yeah, but, um, but you see, cause I, I can understand what Axe is talking about when you do this. Yeah. You know, I just thought, well, I'll, I'll fill it in and I'll get Axe to do the lead. And he says, it's okay. So I thought, oh. Bloody hell. <laughs> I've got to remember it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just what happens. It's, it's the spare of the moment. And, A lot and of good it, music is improvised like that. Yeah, but it's. I suppose I was into the tune at the time when I played it, because you can make an awful mess of it sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. Anyway, now this, this next gentleman, he's been so quiet and so well behaved, which I'm really... <laughs> So That's it's because over... dog doesn't plan anything. So you're going to. Oh, you call to... you call him you call him dog, do you? Yeah. <laughs> when I him. remember to. I'll and call him was... Shred. Okay. Okay, sir. So over to you, young man. What have you got, sir? Well, man, I I don't know why you saved me for last. I feel like I have like the worst <laughs> thing to like. I'm like I don't have anything, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like all those fireworks that go off at the end, the big the big part of the show. There you go. Yeah. I, well, no. Then you get that last like, one at the end that went like ten seconds after it's done. You're like, oh, you see that one? You, know? you went to you went yeah. to see Nemophila, didn't you? Okay. I was just okay. about to say that you saw Nemophila, so that was okay. the headliner. Okay. Well, so I'm I haven't been posting a lot on YouTube. I've been busy with work. Summertime is busy season, but then it just so happens all the bands from Japan are coming over. So last night. I was at uh, the Nemophila show in West Hollywood here. I took my mom to see it. She had a fantastic time. She She's watched a bunch of my Nemophila videos. And she said Tamu was one of the best drummers she's ever seen live. And she's seen tons and tons of live bands. So that was kind of cool to um, basically take my mom to like a show since my dad used to always be the one doing that. So really cool. Uh, in a couple weeks, I have Scandal is coming here to Anaheim. So I'm going to see them. I've always wanted to see them. That was the first Japanese band I ever heard back in the day before I knew what J-Rock was. So awesome. They're coming here in uh, September. So I'm going to that. In London. Yeah, I have, yeah. Was the show delayed for you? Because this is from oh, like two delayed. years ago. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it was like the last tour. So like, yeah, now they're touring a new, a new album. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah. So, so, so Sorry, guys. The two tame for me. 
I uh, I will say that I preferred their older stuff from when I first heard them. Yeah. But anything they do, they do a fantastic job at. Oh, and yeah. I don't mind some of the softer stuff, but it would be no, nice good, if they play some of their old stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. Rome kicks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see rum kicks, but if they come over, it's only 40 minutes away from me if they go over it. Not bad. Oh, you're kidding. Next month. I didn't know they were going to be in London. I didn't see anything. I'm not I in London. Them. Don't swear at me. Hey. <laughs> I know Brideer is uh, coming over to uh, to your part of the world here. 40 for, minutes away. Yeah, Birmingham. Four or five, five shows. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're coming to Scotland too. Yeah. Yeah, they're, I saw that. Yeah. So. And they've got Huddersfield this time as well. Hmm. Yeah, this one band that doesn't forget about Scotland's part of this country. Yeah. It's true. They, they, they'll come, and they don't go to Wales either. They just go, London, London. Well, well, Canada's part of your country as well. I know, I've been a few times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've drove thousands, hey, I've drove thousands of miles or kilometres and never got out of Ontario. <laughs> well, they 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 love the Queen, and if uh, if Trudeau was my president, I would probably love the Queen as well. We've got uh, <laughs> we've got the uh, the warning coming here on the uh, on the eighth again. They were once in Flint, which is not far from me, but this is at an outdoor theater venue, and they're coming in with uh, Hellstrom and the uh, and the Pretty Reckless. So that'll be a good show on the eighth. It'll be outside. Mm. So hopefully, it won't rain. Oh yes, bride here and uh, rum kicks. Um, I want to. I, I have. I have chatted with Rum Kicks on Zoom. Mm -hmm. and oh, I didn't are, know that. Oh yeah, we'll set, try and set up a interview. But at the moment, they're getting rather busy. I've sent them all the information, and see because of the the they've got a new bass player as well. And he's a guy. I was shocked. Yeah, he's not a guy. I thought he was a guy. You thought he was. Well, I still think he is. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> I no, understand he hey, nowadays, but I, I thought he cho chose a while ago. Well, so. well with a name like Dorothy, his name's Dorothy. Really? There's a yeah. boy named Sue. <laughs> anyway, Shred Dog was the telling us about the gig. The guy who sat at the very end. I think it was a guy who sat at the very end. So I thought that was their new bass player. Maybe I'm wrong. The red hair, taller one. She's. she's, she's Oh, I've seen her as well. But there was there's a guy in the video that you recently reviewed from Rumkin. Oh, them? No, no, they're just some idiots that turned up, I think, <laughs> when they were filming it. Some idiot. Can I get on a, get on a video? That would be awesome. Don't worry. I'll beat you. I'll be there first. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. We've hey, we've cut over, we've cut up, we've, we've, we've cut out motor mouth. Um <laughs> so, sorry. No, That's true. Uh, hey, sorry. When 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 I played back our chat with him, I talked more than he does. I do. <laughs> uh, I kind of warned him up front that that was going to happen, but he wouldn't listen to me. Yeah, carry on, <laughs> carry on, young man. You get, you know, finish off with. Uh, I mean, that was pretty much it. I have a scandal coming up, and then once that's done, I think summer will start to wind down a little bit before Band Made comes here, mm -hmm. and uh, then and it's going to get busy again. And if Japan opens up. I'll be going back to Japan uh, for at least three weeks. Can I just ask a question? Yeah. What's what's summer? Summer? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we know not of this thing. England when it doesn't rain. <laughs> well, it's the uh, British Grand Prix this weekend, and they've done yeah. the qualifying. And guess what? It was pouring down rain. Yeah. As it should be. <laughs> I haven't watched qualifying yet, so don't spoiler me, please. <laughs> Other than that, uh, the download festival that we just had here, it was sunny the whole time. That's the first time that's happened in a long time. I didn't, I wasn't there, but I just, I always like to check the weather for the, because I've been so many times. Uh, Once so, yeah, was enough for me. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that deep in mud. Uh, and an hour well, before, yeah. they were thinking of not, not letting it go. But hey, what, it, what year was that? Oh, God, Benny. Because <laughs> I feel like I went that year that they, they thought about cancelling it because of the weather. So we probably, we, two, we're probably it, there at the same it'll time. It'll be 2000 or something. 
Well, yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's only a 22 year window we're talking I only about. Start, it only started in 2005. Yeah, that was a good guess. <laughs> yeah, well, that's when I got um, I got two free tickets to go there and sold them. Mm-hmm. That's when I went to see Slipknot and I complained mm-hmm. about my expensive seat where it's supposed to be. You got all these things. Bang. Look, I've got a great zoom on my camera. Just bring them in a bit. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> send, send it off. Oh, we're sorry about that. How would you like two, two free tickets to the download for the five days or whatever? I sold them. I thought, I'm not going back there again. I've been up last time I went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walking well, through was, the woods. Mr. B, who was headlining when you went? Can you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Who was on? It was a band. <laughs> who, who was who was on? Corn like yeah. <clears throat> was on. Um, they wouldn't have been headlining. No, Steel Panther. Was that? The, it was either. Was the Iron Maiden? May have been. Um, Trivium was there. Mm-hmm. Um, They're usually there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been so many times. They kind of like all the headliners blur for me. So I'll have to, I'd have to check. Yeah. I'd have to check on that because I only went for the day because there were certain bands on I wanted to see. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that'll be interesting if we find out that it was uh, we were there at the same and, time. And idiots, idiots that can't drive. <laughs> There's the muddy field. Right. Okay. Look. Yes, it drops down there. So no, don't just drop you on. <laughs> Another one to push out. <laughs> God, just, just second gear it. And, of course, you, you guys in America don't have gear sticks. Sorry. <laughs> you know, second gear and then just cruise it through. Out you go, you know. You know, gear shift or whatever you call it, don't you? That's, yeah. We have those. We have automatic transmissions, though. They're much better. No, they're not. Not when it snows. Hey, I'm in the capital of snow. Don't tell me about snow. <laughs> you got no clutch. That gets you out of the trouble. Eh, I'm okay. I've done both. I've done front wheel drive. I had rear wheel drive. I had a Mercedes for a while. That was terrible. <laughs> you gotta, yeah, you got to get snow tires. Otherwise, you'll die. <laughs> I have all wheel drive and I can lock it into um, like full all wheel drive instead of the whole electronic thing because I have a Lancer. So it's a rally car. <laughs> well i've got all wheel drive now too so that that helps me in uh in winter time i have, I have shanks's <laughs> shanks's shanks's pony oh okay so well, <laughs> see axe knows what i'm talking about i don't yeah. really <laughs> means i walk everywhere <laughs> you left him hanging axe no I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So, sorry it's the ace thing again isn't it it's, it means a walk everywhere. Mm. Well, because ah, you know, I've never heard that expression before. Well, right? no, oh, Shanks's pony, yeah. Um, no, because I had to give me car back, you know. So, you probably don't but, mess with that much, do you? Well, let's put it like if I still got it, I wouldn't be using it because I can walk everywhere. Yeah. So, I definitely prepared. wouldn't be using it. You definitely <laughs> wouldn't be messing it now with the petrol now, price. I know, but the thing <laughs> is, I'll be paying for something that's not using, which is ridiculous. Mm. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll show you something. Now, Axel will know what this is. There we go. We'll see. I was a little nervous when you stood up there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about what you know, Axel. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It's that funny looking guy I've only seen once or twice with no hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what it is? It's your driver's Hard. license. No. Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, no, Hospitalization card. <laughs> no, you mean you don't, no, my is not old enough to know what it is. Old pensioner's card. No, you see, that's my driving license. Ah. <clears throat> my bus pass. Oh, okay. Nice. It's, me, it's me bus pass. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they, you know, I got a bus pass. I, so, yeah, so I don't have to pay. I can go and get on the buses. and so you can go to any gig you want. Ah, no, because if it's Birmingham, I suppose I have to get National Express. Mm. I can't see a 
it was an old double decker going down the M6 <laughs> crosswind. I went fast when I was there. That's probably the best thing I ever bought. Just get on the tube, go over where, wherever you want, whenever you want. That was handy. I what I was going to buy. buy a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to buy a Harrier jump jet, but they stopped making them. Yeah, because you just go. Whoosh, 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 you're there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be I nice? Do. <laughs> I do love London, but I can. I, I, there's no way I could live there. But I, I, I like going just to visit. Oh, well done. Yeah, I, when I go when I go to like gigs, like because I mean it's it's normally London that the Japanese bands come. So what I do is I get on the we have this thing called the Mega Bus, which is like a super cheap bus. So like I'll basically go overnight, like and get to London in the morning. What's so, Mega about it? It's, it's, <laughs> a it's, big, a big it's a big fucking bus. <laughs> <laughs> um, a mega pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. No. Mega uncomfortable bus. <laughs> One of those ones you're supposed to sleep overnight in, but you can't get any sleep, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically get there in the morning, like spend the day in London, go to the gig, and then run back to the bus station after the gig to get the overnight one back. Um, so that's that's usually what I do. I think if I was gonna go to Scotland, to do it. if I was gonna go to Scotland these days, I'd fly. I get on the plane and fly. Yeah, so. I added, I actually, <laughs> yeah, I flew down for the, um, when we had the uh, the Metal Matsuri Festival in London, where it was like 10 Japanese bands over two days. Um, I flew for that one. I flew down for that one. Uh, stayed over and stuff. That was, uh, that was where I was like, uh, it was on Luck and Morpheus headlining the first night and Mary's Blood headlining the second night. That's cool. well, Is was, Mary's like, Blood on hiatus now or something? Yeah, they're on. Yeah, they're they're taking a break. Yeah, um, I think the singer Eve, Evie, uh, she's uh, doing, or E, I can I can never pronounce her name, but she's. She, I think she might be doing some stuff, solo stuff. I mean, Saki's um, a little busy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's she's always busy. Yeah, she's like. She's, well, and they just announced just right stuff. here at uh, Summer Sonic as well. So I guess them and Bandmate are going to be sharing a stage again. Man, Summer Sonic would be the show to go to, man. Yeah. When's it on? What date? What month? 8.20. 8.20. What's the time? I didn't want the time. (laughs) (laughs) Smart arse. (laughs) That's that's another reason I went to go to Japan in the summertime is there's some some crazy good shows out there. If I if I went to Japan, I would literally have to time. I would have to like work it out, like you know, specifically for bands, you know, for like yeah. shows and stuff. You know, I would I would have to do it that way. Well, if I go to Japan, I'm trying to work on it next year. I'm gonna have to take a whole film crew with me. Let me know <laughs> when you go. I'm down to go <laughs> because I, go. you know, I, I, because of my channel, I, I want to film everything. Yeah, and I, I want to meet meet all these people in person and that and uh because what did um <clears throat> yeah i'm just trying to think um uh what's it uh skywalker can i sky not can i uh karumi skywalker out of oh, yeah. Uh, yeah well she says yeah come over and and meet my what what did she what did she say called them ugly friends or something and, and I, so I, re, I replied, no, they're not. They're all nice. <laughs> so you know what I mean? We've got, a, we've got a bit of a bit of a laugh there because if you saw the interview with uh, 362, that is, a, that is a bundle of fun. They're all so nice. But that one was so funny, you know, because, I mean, uh, super sat on the guitarist because I said she's squatting down because I've got them on the backdrop. She says, oh, yeah. She said, oh, it's my shirt, same as my shirt. I said, sorry, I'll to take my shirt. I'll say, yeah, you can have it back. You know, <laughs> th- you know things like, but a lot of things which she didn't under- have to understand. It's the same as when yeah. she started sneezing. And I'll go up and have some tissues and pass the pass one through the screen. And it was fun. It was just a complete <laughs> utter fun. And then there was something going off with them in Japanese, but obviously uh, Heidi was involved in that, which was great to see Heidi having a good old laugh with them all as well. And that, that was probably the funniest one I've, I've had. But they're all lovely. They're all lovely, lovely people. They really are. Dude, they loved my um, one video because I was talking about the strong zero drinks they were drinking. 
the Gaijin killer, and dude, they were dying from. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah they're, they're great. Really... This is this year. There's some there's some really lovely because they don't seem big Eddie, do they? Like some we you know some we know, mm-hmm. you know, over this side of the world. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. And this is why I'm going to try and interview as many of the smaller bands or whatever I can, get them notice, hopefully. Um, I take it um, Misa didn't get back to you, like Misa Ono. From, uh, you know, Misato. No, Brain Sky, it's a name, isn't it? <laughs> uh, ex Bridier. Oh, okay. Like, she does solo stuff now. Like, uh, have I reacted to her? Yeah, you watched. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, remember we had this like conversation. You said you were gonna like, because I, I had the same idea. Because I wanted to see if I could speak to her. Because like I'm like a mega fan. And then like I said, have I sent something? As well. Have I sent something to her? Do you know? You, yeah, you have sent her a message. All right, because you know more than I do. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'll keep. I'll keep you right. I'll keep you right. <laughs> Because I must be honest, I've never been so damn busy in my whole life as what's <laughs> been happening with yeah, you know, with interviews and things coming up and and, and every, cause, everything. Cause she, um, you know, she's she speaks like perfect English, so it'd be like it would be such a cool interview to do. I don't know, that's what uh uh Myran, is it Myran? Oh, there's the other bass player. Mm. And she speaks perfect English. She, she said she's too she's too busy to do one. Mm. Damn. Mm. And then there was they're all uh, real busy right now. Uh, who's, who's the other one that's just done? Um, oh god, what is this stupid old fart? Why can't you remember anything? <sighs> Names, hang on, I'm gonna cheat. I've got oh. it down here on my list here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, well, it's um, she, she's done a cover. Um, she 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 did, uh, I can't think of a name now. But I'm sure um, Shred Dogs reacted to her. She just does covers. She, she did... Um, if, AC- I, if she only does covers, I probably haven't. ACDC. I saw that, but I can't remember who it was. I might have gone by. I've got so many on here. I was just scrolling away. I've been scrolling that much, but my wheel doesn't work properly. I mean, my mouse now, I've got to get a new one. Uh, brain, is it Brain... Brain, 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 brain. Oh, yeah, you just go on YouTube. It's easier to find her. Um, <laughs> That's what I have to do. That's the only list I have is YouTube. Yeah, Sigma Brain Kill. Yeah, not reacted to her. No. Oh, because oh, she said to me when I set about doing an interview, at least she needs to practice her English more. And that she says she's very busy. I says, well, I might be able to get an interpreter, but um, she's really nice because she replied, "I don't care." Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's when they, it's when they ignore you. It's like um, Iris Monday. I've done some live stuff, and it's on this channel. So I asked the channel if it was okay for me to react to it. Mm-hmm. They took me comment down. Mm. So I'm going to get onto them and say to Moy, you know this channel that your stuff is that took me. So you know they'll probably give me a copyright strike. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll soon be in there telling them off. You know, but um, this is yeah. This is these are things that that happen. Copyright strikes and stuff. And it's funny with the copyright strike. That the one I've got, the one I have got now is it is a TV company. It is genuine. But, um, they, they didn't reply to me, but it's, it's the only one when you got a name like Joe Bloggs or whatever, you know. Well, who's that? You know, <laughs> yeah. it's not the company, right? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered about being blocked. Uh, one recently got blocked, Jimi Hendrix cover, uh, Daisy Pepper. Okay. Right, and she told me hers got blocked, but she disputed it. And I thought, well, that's fine. I haven't got time. I'm not. I haven't got time to do that. Otherwise, I would, you know, 
as far as I like my, I, I did a cover for, I did a Mary's Blood song and it got uh, blocked, but I disputed it and then they let it go. Um, so, you know. So it's well, you know, Kai, the, the drummer, K-I-I, <laughs> nine-year-old drummer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me a flop me. I thought, I'm not having this. I'm not having this. Uh, uh, how can you block a nine-year-old who's trying to learn and I'm trying to support and blah, blah, blah. Right. Two days later, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> and she's doing a song from nine, 1992 or wherever, you know. And she's doing, so but anyway, it, it got put, it got up, it, it went up in two days. So I just thought it was good. But I thought, I'm not having this because same as uh, that little Chinese girl, everyone's going, do Hotel California, do Hotel. Now it gets blocked every time. Yeah. The Eagles and Don Henley and no, don't please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he's got what? I, I heard a story. I read it somewhere. He's got like 60 employees that sit in a room and monitor all the music and the social media and blah, 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 and basically take stuff down. That's what they do. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's kind of well, the sad is a sad, I'm not saying the second word, put in what you like. Um <laughs> But yeah, I, I mean, it's, the idea is it's to get to get that. And I mean, what makes me laugh is it's all the older stuff as well that gets gets blocked. And you're thinking, oh, OK, so that's it. Then they've had their day. You're going to block them. You know, I don't know why. I mean, I, I'm not that I'm bothered about a lot of the old stuff. But the thing is, it's, it's pointless. What about the youngsters hearing it? Yeah. You know, this is what we grew up with. Compared to your, compared to your uh, stuff you're listening to now, you know all this mix of a remix of a remix of a remix. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, this is mm -hmm. genuine music. They played their instruments. Yeah. Like, if you like, House of the Rising Sun by the Animals. That was that was mono, so they're all playing at the same time in the recording studio. It wasn't done separate. So really, you could say that was a live recording because it was. So, Does anybody here listen to uh, David Heretic? He's a reactor on YouTube as well. He was just on yeah. the news or did a news segment or something about exactly what we're talking about in terms of copyright strikes and the fact that reactors and other people dealing with music, right, are actually a benefit to the band. So, and it was on a well-known news channel, which I don't know if it was Fox or who it was that, that did it. It was a little five-minute segment that he posted. Really good. It was nice to hear somebody do that in a, in a, in a, in a mainstream sort of way. I saw so, it. Sometimes, saw like, embrace it so much. Um, like, uh, there's even some guys that, like, uh, you know, some bands even just react to the, re the they react to the reactors of the song that they're, you know, reacting to. It's just yeah. like, you know, they're, you know, just so they can you know, see the reactions, like, and have people see them react to it. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah well, really I've gotten, cool. gotten a few responses. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was going to say, Doug, got a few responses, I, I think, on what, either Instagram or other other places, even on your on your YouTube? Yeah, I've had some bands, uh, a couple of them that just, like, because I always tag them on Instagram. I, I just finally got on Twitter because uh, Mr. B convinced me, and it's been awesome. Uh, even though I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, yeah, a lot of them will <laughs> reply on Instagram. Just like they'll just message and like, oh, thank you for checking it out. I'm like, hey, bro, thanks for making awesome music. Like, don't thank me. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait till you start getting them sending you messages in Japanese. Um, <laughs> translator, I burned it out the other day. Um, <laughs> yeah, that uh, P and D. That I saw that on Fox News. Okay. Because they're making a joke about the woman having to clue at the end of it that the you know they got the two they got the guy and to clue what was what it was all about, yeah. What reaction yeah. channels are and you're thinking, what's she doing in that job then? Well, <laughs> those people always are like that though. Mm. Out of touch. Yeah. And, okay, and, that's that, a good thing. and Fox News as well. I mean, you've got CNN and Fox News and. They're always falling out with each other, saying that I've, yeah, it is. It's a bit like that. Well, David asked us to share it, so I put it on my Facebook page so people would have access to it. So uh, if you want to go watch the little segment that uh, that he had on the news, you can go go to my Facebook, and uh, I think it's probably the second or third video down 
um, where uh, where he's he's on the news talking about uh, reactors and and the yeah. thing. Why haven't we acted to it yet? <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> true, right? True. I don't know which one's a more true statement. The joke. Here's here's the joke. Ax says to me, "I'll be reacting to something before it's even out." And <clears throat> and I did. If you want to watch it first, you have to go to Mr. B's channel. Sil <laughs> Silver Stream. Silver Stream. Was it? Oh yeah, the song. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did. A, I did a song that I just thought like you could just react to like without me releasing it, you know, just, uh, so I guess you I guess that was true. <laughs> yeah. You did react Check to that one off. <laughs> oh yeah. And, and, I, and I put the, the, like, the video to it as well. So, you know, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a first, but I thought, yeah. And it's great tune, of course. Thank you. Yeah. yeah because, because the video was cool as hell. Like, I, I, like, I, that's, that's what the music gave me. I mean, I'll, I'll look at it, get a copyright strike for nicking that. Um, <laughs> But that's, that's, that's what the music gave me the feeling of. Mm -hmm. Flying. So I've got Jetman. Anyone, you know, Jetman? Yeah? You know who he is? I had no idea who he was. Before. I looked it up after we chatted. Oh, you see, yeah. Jetman. He's, uh, he's a flying legend. He really is. But, uh, but to see, and there was two of them, and I was trying to get it right, and still the music comes in at the right time. It's like, it's a flying. I thought, oh, this is, I like this. I still had to put my own bit in the middle, though, for the quiet bit with it snowing. I was kind of hoping people would just assume that, that was me and you flying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must admit, I have done quite a bit of flying in the glider. <laughs> oh, I've been up in a glider once and I almost threw up. It was a like, lot for me. I was at 4,000 feet spinning. Mm -hmm. well, oh, you told I, me that before. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> forget going on fair rides after some of the stunts I've done in the glider forget it, they're nothing <laughs> according to that term anyway, you'll find out if you go up in a glider and you vomit, you're throwing down, you're not throwing up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gravity is not your friend <laughs> yeah, because um, they are American you know, you know the A-10, the warthog you must know that yeah well, you know, there used to be training round where we're flying and if you saw one you're always in pairs you're looking for the other and i'm happily flying along one day one's coming straight towards me flips it over and flies over the top <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, awesome <laughs> awesome that was great to see you know to see him do that what control though they got over them planes that's just, it's just great oh. I've had some I've had some fun with with planes. Hey, 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 hang on, how long we've been talking for? I don't know what's the ticker say. I don't know what time we started. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> senior, senior moment. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, yeah, this is just sort of a, a general chat. I mean, about anything. That's the idea, really. You know, nothing in particular. Um, I can throw a question out. Um, go on. What, what, um, what Japanese band are the top of the list to see live for everyone? Oh, well. I mean, <laughs> well, actually, yeah, okay, apart, maybe, yeah, I suppose if you haven't seen Bad Maid, maybe I should say apart from Bad Maid. <laughs> Good reply. <laughs> well, I would say Nima Fila was one of them, and that's checked off the box. Yeah. So. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, that's cheating, you've seen them, move on. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. I mean, there's so many, honestly. Uh, okay, well, recently, uh, Hagane. Mm. They have been impressive to watch, and I've always been a huge fan. I'm just gonna list two other bands it's Anarchy it. Stone, one of them. Oh my god, dude, I would love to see them. And what actually, I know <laughs> exactly. What, and what? Mr. B, the one that you recently just discovered, Mad Pop, that would be super cool to see them. Uh, you've been a fan of them for a while, though, right? Uh, uh, Shred Dog, where was you on the Hagane's live stream? Probably working <laughs> today. <laughs> no, they're on today, so I threw a few comments at them. Oh, cool! Well, yeah, I'll, I'll try to check that. it out. Don't know. I don't I, know if they know who I am, but I don't. I don't care because uh, 
Bride here, bride here, fake gear. There's two I want to see. Mm. Bride here for me as well, and uh, probably Trident. And I think oh, both nice. of them are, are touring. Yeah. If I had my choice as well, though, I'd probably want to go see Rolling Quartz if I had an opportunity as well. Oh, that's a good one, too. Uh, can't see them because I'll get told off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did on my channel when I said about the amount of lipstick they got on. Like I said, you know, so it was only a joke, but but um, the girls were offended. <laughs> what about walking after you? Mm, yeah. Another good Korean band. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Shred's got the uh, wobbly head in the back of the car job. I don't know them. Yeah, I don't know them. Uh, <laughs> Mine yeah. would probably be uh, Guitar Spin, probably. I think uh, out of the bands that I haven't seen, I need to see that. I just, I feel like I need to see them. Um, so, uh, yeah. There's a whole list, actually. But Nem Nem yeah. Nemophila, too, obviously. Yeah, they were up there. But yeah, like uh, I'm sure they'll be over to uh, our, I'm sure they'll be over soon. I want them all to come over like for a weekend and just perform like, you know, like the downloads somewhere so we can see them all at once. Yeah, all the bands. Yeah. Well, that's what, that's what, I mean, they did that. You know, the one I went to, I mean, it wasn't like, I mean, it was 10 bands all together, but they all came over together. So like, the, I mean, if, if but I know that the organizers, they barely broke even like on on that on promoting that so you know uh but the the scene's growing all the time so i feel like you know something like that could probably happen again do you mind not doing that axe i can't it's not fair <laughs> <laughs> true what do you mean i stole it from you <laughs> there's a queen song Joe. you had your time with it <laughs> <laughs> true <laughs> Oh, you know what? Wait, can I can I actually add one more? Three sixty two because they, they yeah. just seem like the coolest group of ladies. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah that well, would be cool. I'd buy them all drinks if I'm I could. I'm going to uh, <laughs> hopefully meet them in Japan. I know. I'm so jealous. Let me know when you go. Yeah, you know, if if we can work it out, you can come with me. You can meet them. Um, you know, because they want they want to they want to meet me. Why I never know, but <laughs> you're but, probably like a god over there. A god. <laughs> Yeah, they've probably got statues of you, like in the shrines and stuff. I oh, will look. tell you, if you ever and go on Japanese 4chan, everybody knows who Mr. you are. Dink. <laughs> Did yeah, you hear what I just told you, old Mr. B? Yeah, on, if you go on Japanese 4chan, a lot of people talk about you and everybody loves you. Well, I don't know. Don't speak Japanese. But I know, <laughs> I know, I know I've been on Japanese radio and on some YouTube thing and you know, somebody sent me like clips of stuff that. So I don't, I, I don't, I don't mind. Um, yeah, just since we're talking too, they also talk about Axe. They love his covers. So oh, really? Amazing. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm really considering like when Bad Mate do come, taking the heads with me, because like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That would be like, the most I wonder amazing if they would... thing. Because I, I feel like they would recognize that if they have, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they've watched those videos because uh, they, you know, yeah. I feel like I feel like they would have watched them. Let's hope so. Sure. So, uh, yeah, they never comment on anything. I wish they would. That would be interesting. Yeah. 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 I mean, the thing is, like, I think like last time I uh, last time I met, well, I didn't think I didn't really meet them, but like I did get to like say hi to Konami and uh, Saaki, but very briefly. But that was like, you know, that was years ago. So the, the channel's obviously grown a lot since then. So I feel like hopefully if I do get a chance to speak to them, they'll know who, you know, they, they'll, you know, they might know who I am. If they don't, it's a damn crime. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm on a quest. I want to meet, do the meet and greet with Bride here. And when I go there, I'm going to go, how many more times have I got to message you to see if you want to do an interview? <laughs> but I, I, think it's them. I, I think it's, I think it's their, uh, their label. I asked yeah. them. Damn, I Avex them. Inc. It will, it's not, is it Avex? Avex. Yeah. Uh, no, remember I contacted Bride here to see if I could mm -hmm. do a uh, photo collage of them and they went, no. <laughs> <laughs> So we talked a little bit. We chatted a little bit. I sent them some samples. I said, this is what I do, blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, they went, no. 
And if, if you look, everything that Brider does, they charge for. It's like this money machine. It's not, it's the, for, the, for the label, it doesn't seem to be as much about the music as it should be. And that puts a bad taste in my mouth. I still love the girls. I love the band. I'd love to see them. But they're yeah. ah, well, I think uh, because, you know, when they brought out the last one, it's Vivex, isn't it? The way or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Vivex. Well, Vivex, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I went and I thought, oh, that's that done. So um, I try to think which member it was. It could have been Haru or one of them. Uh, and I, and I, they're on Twitter, and I thought, yeah, I'd love to react to your new song, but I can't because it's going to get blocked. Next thing, they did the playthrough. All of a sudden, they appeared. Mm. And I thought, I wonder, I wonder if it's yeah. out of their hands. So they've done the playthrough because I now know I can react to it. And then Haru did the, the bass playthrough. She, she did the bass playthrough. Then, uh, of course, then uh, Road was the last one done by uh, Nick. Yeah, uh, no, 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 I'm sure they do. I mean, we know the warning do things like that because they're clever and they think, well, okay, we'll now do one in the studio. It's not going to get yeah. blocked. But what they've done this time is they put up the audio ones, haven't they? And I did error and it's not been blocked yet or copyright strike. So. Quite a few reactions to that. Yeah, I think it was you that, that mentioned that. Uh... Uh, the warning actually they'll put out a music video but immediately after they'll put out some kind of a, a studio version or some other type of recording yeah. that you have access to which is actually really cool yeah because they know they know because because look how look how they treat the fans oh yeah they're, they're chatting to them on on instagram and things like that very and accessible this is why they're getting so big this is why they are i mean it'd be nice if band made or somebody else would do something like that wouldn't it yeah, that's right. they must have some. They must have some, like, thing in the contract with their label because, like, usually the label would own that recording as well. But usually it's like, for the, what is it again? I'm trying to remember my, uh, like my, my music law, but like the, uh, the copyright owners, whoever made the arrangements for the recording, basically. So if they if they're doing it off their own back, then I guess like that works but yeah the, the label just must say like you know you can do that you know because normally they would you know normally if they recorded a studio version of it as well like the label would own that too i think it's just like a lot of the newer bands right since like obviously those girls have grown up with social media things like that youtube there's an understanding of copyright things like that so they yeah. have people that can negotiate that in the contract yeah. like certain things so Maybe yeah. they are like, well, we own the video and they're like, okay, but we own the, the song itself or something, you know, something like that. Yeah. So yeah. if you're not playing the actual official video. Yeah. They can do. So, I mean, if it's like, if it's something that they've just filmed, you know, themselves mm -hmm. really, uh, then, uh, then yeah, probably. You own the that. video, but not us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why you see a lot of these Japanese like Aris Mundo and all them that without uh, record companies and doing it on their own because of that reason. They don't want to be Jap um, Japan's still behind the times with the stuff. They're barely moving things over virtual. They are still very much cash society, mm -hmm. a, you know, a physical product, you know, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays. They're very far behind the times. Mm. Which is but, good for us because we get to yeah. buy the stuff. I don't want to buy digital music. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I want both. Yeah. 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 So you know, and I'll keep sending you the CDs. They, they, you know, <laughs> they're, they're doing all their own, their own, own recording and, and stuff and, and all the rest of it. And I mean, it, it's working. They're saving themselves thousands of dollars, pounds, yen, whatever, in like just filming it on their iPhone. It works. Yeah. yeah. And Do you ever have any trouble with shorts? The the new short videos, Mister B. I'm glad you put the videos on the end because I'm just going to say I don't wear my shorts at the moment. It's not <laughs> not, those shorts. not not filling them or washing them. That's not what how, I want to know. How do you mean? I have trouble. I haven't done any yet. I did one. It, I was... it, 
in terms of any any blocking, no, I, it was funny because just before we sat down to, to do this, I was watching um, two of the members of Bride Ear play bathtub in the bathtub. And there's a short <laughs> out there for it. And it's really quite funny. So if you needed that's something amazing. to react to, I think that's pretty good fodder if you ask me. Well, what I'll do is I'll get a few of their shorts and put them together. Yeah. And react to them. I'll, I'll do something like that. But, but uh, yeah, I was... I'll, did a short and realized it was too long it wasn't short <laughs> your shorts were too long I, I'm, I'm... <laughs> hey oh oh yeah that, that, that i was tempted the last time axe did a live stream right <clears throat> his partner was on and i nearly i nearly sent her a message saying did you did you wash his jeans in you know too high a temperature they look like they shrunk because <laughs> they're in between shorts and jeans, you see. Yeah. They're my thought, favorite jeans. They're my favorite shorts. I don't, wherever, I, wherever they are. I don't know. I, what they I, are. Thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought, no, no, zip it, you know. <laughs> but um, but yeah. Anyway, I think we'll better stop the recording, otherwise I'll have to have a bit of work to do, and I've got too much. Yeah, no, you can't have that. <laughs> So, if everyone wants to say cheerio, well, we'll just stop. I'll stop the recording then. Bye. Thanks, Bye. For, Thanks for, for chatting watching. stopping by. I'll Goodbye. Be I will put new videos soon. <laughs> promise. Subscribe to all of them. <laughs> and this guy. Yeah. This Not me. Awesome. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. There you go. As you see, it was just a chat. Now, all the links will be below for the different channels. So check them all out. Check them all out. Uh, B&D does a great job. Obviously, Axe with his music and everything else. And um, Shed Dog, another reactor like myself. Um, great bloke. So there you go. Go and check them all out. The information is will be down below. The links will all be there. So off you go and check them out. And I'd just like to say to everybody, thank you, thank you so, so much for all your comments, all your support and everything else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, please, please, please take care. Bye for now.